But the project is called Mimu, and um, it's a node-based programming environment for the web. So it runs, it's all running on web standards, and um, runs on um, modern browsers. So I, I started thinking about like, what is an app? So they have this aesthetic of being this kind of hard, shiny thing, um, that's, that's like a smartphone, but then when you take it apart, there's not very much you can do with it. So this is like the inside of a um, of an iOS app and the inside of the phone. Um, but but I wanted to put something um, like a level between the app, the interface, and the source code to give um, to invite people to um, hack how something works. Um, so um, there's a lot of projects in this space kind of a design for hackability that um, make programming easier or make uh, electronic engineering easier, like Arduino. Um, so here's uh, a basic example. It loads, yes. Um, so, so this camera module, um, this is a like standard web standards um, camera, and um, so each of these boxes are modules, and and there's a library of modules here that you can that you can drag out into this. But um, with this example, you have a button that sends a signal to this camera module, and when you um, so when you press the button that tells the camera module to send one image to the animation module. And so if you add a few, then you, then you have an animation like this. And then in there you can um, encode it into a GIF. And then um, all of these images you can drag to this image menu. So, uh, oops. Pretty much any image in here you can you can save to the web immediately by dragging it up to this images menu and here to save it public. Um, and then it'll give you a link and options to save to Facebook, Flickr. Um, so that's the direct link to the image that you can share. And then if you want to export it, export it to a service, then you can click one of these and log in and save it there. But um, yeah. So this has been my development approach, um, designed for hackability. I talked about it a little bit modular software design by putting um, all the parts of the framework into these boxes that communicate with each other with um, well-defined ports. Um, it, it forces my my software to be to be very module modular. Um, so each. Um, each one of these boxes that you see, you can you can see the JavaScript behind there if you're if you're interested. Um, this is like the the view source button for each each of these modules. And I've been trying to um, balance building the tool and actually using the tool. So um, over here, I'm showing some of the stuff that I've been making with it. Um, the the quilt is a projection mapping project. Um, it's not running right now. But then on the right, there's um, some samples of textile designs that I've been doing um, in this framework and um, experimenting with that. And, and also this animation stuff. So this is a, the example I just showed. It's a, a camera connected to animation. Um, now, there's a, a metronome, so, so we can actually um, we can actually program this example now in the in a library. Take a metronome module like this, 
and let's say 60 BPM, that's one, one signal per second. And we'll put that into the send. So now it's going to be doing like a, a time lapse animation. And you can make that, that time a lot longer. And then, um, for example, point, it, point your camera outside your window and like, like see the sun move across the day if you leave it running for the whole day or something. Um, so, so that's like taking this stop motion application and uh, turning it into um, yeah, turning it into a uh, time lapse application, and this this is my baby, and I was wondering what she what she does when I'm in the kitchen, and so I I just made this app and and pointed the camera at her and um, found out that she was moving a lot. She just moves slowly, but she's moving a lot. Um, so there's there's also a paint module, so you can you can paint in this window and then send it to the animation and, and make uh, make a like stop motion flipbook kind of animation there. Um, and then if you if you put the camera module back back into here, then then you can do rotoscoping. How many people have seen? Um, Waking Life. <coughs> so in the in the making of, of that movie, they showed the software they were using that looked like Flash, um, but I, I guess it was custom software, and they called it Rotoshop. And I really wanted to play with it, but they never released it, I think. Um, so I had to build my own. These are some more examples of the kinds of things I've been making with it, just playing with um, um, this one actually has some recursive transformations, and I got into playing with that from playing with Toby's uh, thesis project called Recursive Drawing. Um, so there's some, some stuff you can do with that in Mimo as well. And, um, yeah. um, this was a, a recent addition. I heard a, a talk from an artist that described his price, process of uh, stealing stealing a palette of colors from a photo. So if you have a photo and you really like the, the colors, then you can drag it into Mimu and then drag it to this um, palette module to, that'll give you however many colors you want from that. So I got these colors from this photo. And here's some more uh, tiling wallpaper designs that I've done. And um, also, also experimenting with making animated things that tile. Um, and putting with this spoon flower, which is a service for print-on-demand fabric, um, and that's where those fabric samples were printed from. Um, this service is, is really cool. Um, so I, I put my design into there. Uh, they don't have any styles for men, though. So I've kind of been thinking of how um, how I could also make. That um, this kind of like easily tweakable patterns and colors and stuff, and putting them into designs that are also tweakable to your size, and um, kind of having this kind of live live preview there, and then ordering a print out of the fabric, or or getting somebody else to to sew it for you. Um, yeah, here's some more animated wallpaper experiments. Um, so this is a, a pretty simple projection mapping thing. Um, I made an, a MIMO graph that makes these eyeball visuals and then projected it onto a um, weather balloon. Um, so that was a lot of fun to, to put together in a couple of days. And here's like rectangle projection mapping where you can drag the corners to match um, virtual screens. This kind of stuff is like, um, this is a, definitely a low-powered projection mapping app, but um, the, the learning curve and the like, amount of software you have to install 
and all that is, is a lot smaller. By, by making this a web app, it's kind of accessible to everybody. If kids wanted to play with projection mapping um, in their bedroom, then, then they could use this. Um, and I like, I like that idea of democratizing this, this kind of app that's normally pretty expensive to get into. And that's all I have.